All right, I just I just had to I had to say something about this. Do you guys ever see something that uh you know maybe some little kid tries to give their mom some crazy excuse about you know how something happened. Maybe growing up you did something and gave your parents some fantastical story about what happened. Your parent knew you were just coming up with something of course they knew i can remember examples with my brothers i had three brothers and anyway and we had you know some things that we did that we tried to explain away that were ridiculous okay now if you're willing to say something that is beyond ridiculous i'm just meaning i'm just if anyone is willing to go on like the news or an interview or something like that, and you're asked a question in your answer, the words do not equal any value. So you say words and whatever those words are, they have zero value or integrity or truth to the words. Well, if you're saying the words and anyone that's listening to the words can go, that's insane. You can't use those words because using those words would show that you're like delusional because your answer is without merit. It's without words that are acceptable. They don't add up at all zero. So they're, they're delusional. Um, let me show you kind of what I'm talking about real quick. I want to show you a couple of things. Let me, uh, let, let, let me show you about how to measure how to measure a roof, like the roof pitch, like how steep is your roof? So if it's like, let's see, if it's like this and it's barely got a pitch to it like this, that's about a one over three, 12 on three. But if it goes up a little more, maybe a 12 on five, 12 on six or seven, 12 on eight, you know, and then the steeper it is, the higher the number. And let me show you a little way for for calculating that. Watch this. So watch this. The easiest way to find the pitch of your roof is simple geometry. You're finding the rise over the run. So how much the roof goes up over one foot. So we measure one foot on our level. We put the level, the bottom of the roof. So we're measuring from the bottom of the level. Find where it's level, the bubble in the middle and then measure down to the roof. So you're measuring down at your one foot mark. So you go out one foot and then you measure down to the roof. What is that? What's the right, the rise over the run? Okay, so let me show you a, a chart. I'll, maybe I'll let her talk for another couple seconds. This is the vertical component, six inches. The horizontal component is 12 inches. So our roof, for every one foot it travels horizontally, it goes up six inches. So the pitch of the roof is 612. This isn't an exact science, not down to the millimeter, just a rough estimate. Okay, there you go. So let me show you a little um, roof pitch diagram. So let's use this one in blue over here. Okay, you see right here? Uh, so that's a one on 12, that's a two on 12. That's a three on 12. See how the pitch just gets a little more angular towards the center. So four on 12, it's a little more steep. So here's a five on 12. She was on, she was on a six on 12. So that's a six on 12. And then a 12 on 12 is pretty steep. But over here, a one on 12 or a two on 12 is, is, is just absolutely no pitch to talk about whatsoever it's a very flat roof it's as close one on 12 is as close as you can be to being flat that just gives enough uh for water to barely shed a two on 12 is barely any pitch a three on 12 a little bit but not much uh let me show you there's a video here on youtube it says children playing on rooftops and the need for window locks and these two little tykes are crawling around on these rooftops without their shoes and in their socks but they're probably crawling around on something that looks like that looks like a 10 on 12 maybe something like that so yeah they're probably on some about like that 10 on 12 maybe 11 on 12 
Okay, so let me show you this. Uh, all these videos are popping up left and right. It's just nonstop. And so this one popped up, and I and I just thought, okay, um, again, the word delusional, you know what? Let's just look at the definition. Okay, so one definition is characterize or holding false beliefs or judgments about external reality that are held despite incontrovertible evidence to the contrary. Now, after seeing these kids on this roof, by the way, what I used to do as a child, I crawled on roofs like that a lot. Um, anything we could get onto that was steep or challenging maybe at a young age, I think, was on the venue. If you're a little boy, it's one of the things you do. But I want you to listen to this statement. She was asked, and I believe this is the head of the Secret Service that was in charge of this shooting that where there were two shooters, obviously by the signatures of the sound and the people that were wounded. There had to be two shooters. Um, tell me what you think about this statement. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest. Okay, so I just want to back up. She's being asked about the roof. Why wasn't that roof secured? Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof. So that building in particular has a sloped roof, and you're looking at that building in particular. Right now you're looking at that building. Do you know that's about that's about a... That's about a <laughs> one on two, something like that. Let's go to our roof pitch diagram. Uh, but so, uh, I'm sorry, like a two on 12. It's not a three on 12. You can see. So one of the most minor roofs there is, is a three on 12 for walking around on. It's nothing. A two on 12 is almost flat. A one on two is for all intensive purposes it is flat but a two on 12 which is what we're talking about right here is a, about a two on 12 see it that's a two on 12 yep two let's see let me push this out there it is so here let's drag our pitch diagram into it so here's our pitch diagram right here so this roof right here that's so dangerous because it's got a pitched roof. That is a 2 on 12 maybe. I wouldn't say it's a 3 on 12. But it is definitely either a 2 on 12 or a 3 on 12 at max. So let's hear that one more time. Should that roof have been secure, period? That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest point. And so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there that we wouldn't want to put somebody up on a sloped roof. So we don't want to put anybody on a sloped roof. And they probably didn't even. Sorry about that. The roof have been secure, period. That building in particular has a, a sloped roof uh, at its highest has a sloped roof. Again, let's look at the sloped roofs. I just want to make sure that I'm not just, you know, so someone's not speaking words of any value. That building has a sloped roof. So that those words have no value. That's not a sloped roof. That roof is a two on 12 maybe. So it's not a sloped roof. Uh, it's barely sloped. Here's kids playing on about whatever whatever you think that is on the chart. But they weren't on something like this. They were on something like this. This point, and so, you know, there's a safety factor that would be con considered there. The so she's saying, she just said, so there would be a safety factor considered. Okay, those words have no value because there's a presidential candidate and that roof should have 100%, according to uh, experts that have been all over the place, 
testifying snipers, uh, counterintelligence people. They're like, that's one of the roofs that should have had Trump's people on it or Secret Service on it. But now she's saying that it was sloped and that was a safety factor. Those words have no value, zero value, zero, none. So what does that mean? That someone's giving you words that have zero value, but they're doing it to all of you. So someone's willing to say that to everybody. What does that mean? Based on having faulty judgment mistaken, their delusional belief, that's a delusional belief, faulty judgment, faulty, malfunctioning, uh, defective, not working, flawed, unsound, inaccurate. So the word inaccurate, defective, unsound is what the word faulty means. So based on having unsound, unreasonable judgment, mistaken, that's delusional. Again, that's what? Delusional. So, according to just basic abilities to look at data, that's a delusional statement. That statement is completely delusional. There's not a pitch roof that would cause safety for an agent. As a matter of fact, that would be one of the nicest routes you could get on. If you wanted to be up there, you wouldn't have any serious uh, contention for a downward pull because there's no downward pull. You're on a, you're on a one on three or a one on two. <laughs> you know, I say one on twelve on whatever, twelve on one, twelve on two, Matt, most of twelve on three. So what do you do when the, the head of that department says those words? What do those words mean? They're delusional. Okay, so I'm just going to say from listening to the words of a person, I don't care who that person is, with such a severe thing at stake, Donald Trump's life, to be asked the question, if that rooftop should have been secured, which all these other security experts say there should have been teams, they because they've done this, there would be teams on those roofs. They know there would. They said it's the most obvious spot. It's a seventh grader would have known it. These are from counterintelligence sniper people. They said that's just not even believable because the words that she gave are without merit. There's no merit. That's delusional. Second Thessalonians 2. Now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Remember ye not that when I was yet with you, I told you these things? And now ye know what withholdeth that he might be revealed in his time. For the mystery of iniquity doth already work, only he who now letteth will let, until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming, even him, whose coming is after the working of Satan with all power and signs and lying wonders, and with all deceivableness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they received not the love of the truth, that they might be saved. And for this cause God shall send them strong delusion, that they should believe a lie, that they all might be damned who believed not the truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. For we are bound to give thanks always to God for you, brethren, beloved of the Lord, because God hath from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the Spirit and belief of the truth. For unto he called you by our gospel to the obtaining of the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, brethren, stand fast, and hold the traditions which ye have been taught, 
whether by word or our epistle. Now, our Lord Jesus Christ himself and God, even our Father, which hath loved us, and hath given us everlasting consolation and good hope through grace, comfort your hearts, and establish you in every good word and work. All right. I just wanted to notice I've seen a lot of this delusion. I It's common. Have you all seen it in all these people answering questions that there's no merit in their words? Their words are valueless. Their words that mean nothing, that have no truth. They have no reality. The words she said don't have reality in them. She said because there's a slope on that roof and it could be a safety hazard. That's delusional. That's nuts. That's a great roof. Super awesome place to put a counter sniper team. Counter, yeah. So anyway, that's not a real answer then. So what does that mean? People at the highest levels of government are giving the people delusional answers to important questions. What does that mean? Who's taken over? Oh, that's what that means. Rising from the depths to take the sheeple down. Now you know, strong delusion setting in.